Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poor boys every day carrying flashlights. And today, we're going to talk pin lights. Well, pin lights, should I say. Uh, I got on a big kick that I had to have a pin light. Because how many times have you guys been in that situation where you've got a flashlight in your pocket or uh, on your side? If you're anything like me, I carry one in my pocket and one on my side at all the time. Uh, but I've been cooped up under cars, uh, in a tight spot and working on my side by side or a tight spot working on my Harley. And I, you know, I end up having to back out of the, the situation that I'm in and if they reach for a, a flashlight and I just wished I would have had one in my shirt pocket at that time, several times. And, uh, so I decided, Hey, I want a pin light. So I started doing a little research and, uh, I run across these and, it actually it was a Facebook ad and uh, they was offering a big percentage off uh, this is August of 2020 so I recommend you probably if, if you're watching this video anywhere near that date I recommend going over and checking them out and seeing what you think of them uh, but I reached out to coast and because there wasn't a lot of YouTube videos uh, that had to do with these lights the pin lights you see a lot of other coast uh flashlight videos but the pin light i don't know how new they are uh but anyway they looked cool and this right here is what really caught my eye and something else did too and i'll show you here in just a minute but i had recently purchased one of the coast g45s it's just a single mold light no high medium or low it's just what you get what you get uh, it's got a real tight hot spot a little bit of bleeding and a whole lot of spill out here i know it's probably hard to see in that camera but i'm less than two foot away from the table uh, this I, you'd be surprised how much i use this light it's perfect size i kindly wished it had a belt clip on it but hey i can live without that but anyway we're talking about the pin light as this is the paper that come in there of course i had to tear mine apart to see if it was worthy before i even put it on the channel uh, but anyway yeah i've been in that situation several times that i wished i had a pin light on me something in my shirt pocket that's uh not going to weigh me down that being said most of your pin lights that you see are double a or triple a and not this one though this is the a8r i also have the a9r ordered uh marshall with coast sent me this one out to do a review on and i just went ahead and purchased the a9r with uh, i can't remember exactly what their percentage they are offering off but the a9r cost me 19 dollars and some change here in the united states uh but that's not really bad at all but now that that's a big percentage off i think they usually retail for 40 to 50 dollars but you know i thought hey if they're 40 or 50 dollars they bound to be a pretty good lot so i wanted to check them out and i reached out to uh coast uh spoke with marshall and uh he was i was fortunate enough for him to send me one out to get to review this and i'm very grateful for that especially now after getting it in my hands and actually getting to use it but anyway we're gonna i'm gonna explain a little bit of it to you first of all let me show you a little i know it's hard to tell the video how little something is but first of all we're going to measure it sure about four and a quarter inches and that's counting the button uh, you'll see a coast button let me try to get this focused in where you can see it real good You see the big C? Well, let me blow it up for you with this one. Too bright. But anyway, they have the big C on there. There we go. Same way the little light. You reach to grab that button. You're going to connect. I like that button. Way to go, Coast. They really paid attention to the power button. Uh, the belt clip pocket clip i said belt clip but the pocket clip on this thing is extremely extremely stout as a matter of fact i'm not sure if it even comes off 
because I can't even twist it. I'm trying to twist it with everything in me, which that's fine with me too. I hope it don't never come off. Uh, it seems to be on there really good, but let's compare this thing up to an ink pen. Look at your diameter. This thing is smaller than an ink pen in diameter. I wish I had a micrometer just to show you how small it was, but at four and a quarter inches, this is your average pen too. You will never know this thing is in your shirt pocket. That's the, that's the thing that I like. I can pack it, don't even realize it's on me until I need it. Then that right there is when it's most important, right? Let me show you a little more about this. The best thing is you do not have to replace batteries. I hate replacing batteries. There's, this is your battery. There's your part number as well. I'll turn this real slow in case you guys want to look at it real good. For you battery guys, 3.7 volts, 100 milliamp an hour battery, 0.37 watts. And it tells you to use their charger, of course, which I would doubt you'd find another charger to probably charge it, but you have six prong plug-in right there as well as on the head and uh, let me show you something else you see this I'm assuming this is a ground that grounds on the inside of the light maybe but anyway as you put this back into your light you're going to want to start threading right away because you'll have threads down in here and this right here is sticking up a little bit so as soon as you go to slide it in there you're going to want to start threading it it doesn't matter which way you plug it in there's no right or wrong way as long as you get it plugged in is all that matters it slides in there that simple sorry i was out of the camera frame but it's that simple Slide it back in, you'll start threading, even though your threads don't start till here. But once that falls in, you'll feel it give a little. There it was. And now, this thing will cross thread on you if you're not careful. So, if it gets tough while threading it, back it back out and start it again. I wouldn't want to cross thread those plastic threads. And one time, the only time you got to do it, folks, is one time, and the rest is rechargeable, as I will show you in a minute. Perfect. I mean, this thing is not much longer than your finger, and I don't have big hands. This has an inspection beam, as I'll try to explain here in a few minutes. Let me show you what else is in the box, so I can get this out of the way. You'll have a charger. Uh, there lays your battery. There lays your battery light and your charger will come up in here which tore mine apart i had to play with it first you get a 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter in that's a big plus because a lot of times you don't even get this so you get the wall and the car charger you get a five foot cable to charge this light as well five foot so you won't need any, any more cable. A lot of these lights you'll get uh, anywhere from 6 inches to 12 inch cords with them. But now this one you have 5 foot. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Alright, I know you probably want to know how many lumens this thing is. Well, this is an inspection beam. I, as far as lumens, I don't think they even calculate them in lumens. So, uh, it's an inspection beam, which is meant for something up close and right in front of your face, pretty much. Uh, who's going to use this light? Me. Yeah. But other than me, uh, who's going to use this light? Well, if you're an electrician, how many times have you been in a house and it's dark and you're wiring up a uh, breaker box? I've been there myself and I'm not even an electrician. 
but I have been under several cars, motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides, UTVs, whatever, uh, and I've been in a, a tight spot that I could uh, probably reach my shirt pocket, but not my waist, which is where I usually carry my, either my Olight S2R or Lumen Top FW3A or 1A, either one. Uh, but anyway, I've been in several tight spots to where it would have been nice to have had a pin light. And that's exactly why I'm in a situation, why I'm even looking at pin lights. Uh, I was working on my Harley the other day and I, I was needing a light and I was tied up in a big tight bind and I couldn't reach something or couldn't reach my flashlight, my Lumen Top tool 2.0 or 2.0. Uh, try to keep it in my pocket just for a backup. You know, the old saying two is one, one is none. Well, I try to live by that. But anyway, I would have gave you anything to have had a pin light. So I started researching. And uh, I went and found these, and I, I found a real good price for them. Uh, right now, Coast is offering them. Like I said, I had a, a, a very big percentage off. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend go over and looking at them. Uh, you people in the medical field, I know that you all carry pin lights. Uh, a lot of them have your size dye layer, which I'm sure you know by heart. But if you're going to pack around a light all day and not know what's in your shirt pocket, right here is the way to go. It's got real good looks. They offer them other colors as well. I have the A9R coming in red. Uh, but this is in grams. I want to show you You're looking at 12 and 13 grams. Sometimes it'll measure 13 Well, it's on 12 And you got eight So it's four grams difference between this ink pen and this light and that's all metal Metal clip and with a battery in it Four grams difference. So this is going to be probably like carrying a metal ink pen in your pocket. I, I, I would say a metal ink pen is heavier. I don't have one on me to show you, but take this Lumen Top tool, for instance. You know, this is a double A light, 46 grams. So, and this is a third of its weight, a, a quarter of its weight, actually. And this, uh, this is an in uh, inspection beam, squirrel brain, uh, but you're not going to see no spill or, or no bleeding or anything like that. This is pointed to exactly what you're looking at, which is the whole purpose of a inspection beam. This right here is another thing that I really, really, really like. How many times have you dropped something and couldn't find it, especially it being black? Well, you're going to find this one. If it's on, anyway. I love the light up ring. Another thing that I didn't show you that was in the box was this five foot charger. You get a cable that's five foot long, and this is a simple. You come in from work, you've got a uh, indicator, a power indicator right here. Well, it's going to turn red as soon as you plug plug it in, if it needs charged. And then when it is charged, uh, I should have timed it, but I didn't. Uh, it will turn green. It's hitting your metal contacts right here. There ain't no unscrewing and screwing. And people say, well, you know, those are plastic threads. Those ain't going to last long. They don't need to last long. You thread them in one time and you never have to unthread them again. Unless your battery goes bad, then... You got a part number to call and order you another one. There it is. It just happened to charge completely. Perfect timing. It doesn't take long to charge this light. Uh, I really don't know how long. I just got it yesterday. I don't know how long it's going to take to uh, to run it completely dead either. As I probably should have done it. But you got a five foot cable. You got the wall in. You got the car charger. No excuse for your light not to be charged. Especially if it's right underneath your nose and your shirt pocket. But anyway, guys, I highly recommend this light. I have the A9R, like I said, coming in, and I'll try to do a comparison video. Uh, it should be in within the next two days. So I'll try to do a comparison video to show you the difference in them. So maybe you guys can pick, see which one you want. 
but what time they have these on sale i would highly recommend to go to coast products and go over and get you one thanks guys for tuning in the channel and uh, check with me within a couple more days and i'll have the 9r up with the 8r beside of it comparing them thanks guys